We recently had the pleasure of heading to the place where it all began, rugby school in Warwickshire. It's about an hour out of uh, London on the train, beautiful part of the world. Timmy was keen to go along and find out a bit more about the evolution of our great game. A privilege to be at rugby school today, the birthplace of rugby union, a game that has given me so much throughout my career. And just in behind me here, 1823, William Webellis caught the soccer ball, ran about 70 metres back the other way towards the school, total disregard for the rules, thus creating the game we all love to know now as rugby. Come with me and we'll find out a bit more. So, Rusty, give us a bit of background on rugby school itself and, and how it's got its name. Well, the school takes its name from the town of, of Rugby, uh, which originally was Rosherby, Place of the Rooks. Uh, and the school was founded by a local man, Lawrence Sheriff, back in 1567. A lot of history here. Um, William Webellis, um, in 1823, picked, caught the soccer ball and, and ran with it. Um, tell us a bit about the history there. Well, the game we played, and we still call it, football within school and very different from rugby union which we play today. You can have over 300 players on the pitch, matches can last six or seven days, uh, no games kit uh, and no written rules but there were rules because the games were run by the senior boys and one rule said you were allowed to catch the ball. When you caught the ball you had to stop yep. as did the opposition. You could then move backwards, take a kick against the opposition's goal. We know that Webb Ellis wasn't the only one who broke the rules, that's how the game moved on. Yeah. But he was prone apparently to bending rules in yeah. football. And he caught the ball and instead of stopping, he just carried on running. But eventually, because he persisted with this, it eventually became a perfectly acceptable part of the game. A distinctive feature of the rugby school game. And these are boys who are 15, 16, 17 years old, they're the ones who were creating these rules. Yeah, and in fact the very first written code of the sport and we have the original handwritten minute book in the display case behind me. The original rules were created by two 17-year-olds and one 16-year-old boy. Wow. So the game we played today really was created by teenage boys. Well, here at the rugby school, I've been asked to sign the guest book um, with the likes of Will Greenwood, so Clive Woodward and also Prince Harry is here as well, so I might just sign right next to Prince Harry. 